What exactly do dictators, oligarchs, autocrats, etc. really expect to gain from controlling all their citizens? For some, the control is itself something they like. There are just some cruel people who get off on having control over others. Others have a very specific view of the country or the world and are trying to shape it that way. But for many it is a means to an end. With the life of relative comfort being that end. Life may suck for most people in a dictatorship, but it rarely sucks for the people with power. They have the comfortable life others seek in other ways. The control is then a means to keep that power and wealth and status. As you said, the people are too afraid to rebel would be seen as a success. They don't want the people to rebel. They don't want an election to make it so they don't have power. They don't want a rival to take their position. So control and oppression is just the way they go about making sure they stay in the privileged position they enjoy. By the time they get to that level of control they have created a large number of enemies, so they need to keep complete control just to stay in power or even alive. The few people at the time are in power and comfy. The very tippy top of North Koreans are living the life. I truly believe that power is addictive. Knowing that you hold someone's life in your hands probably causes a huge chemical rush. Speaking for myself, the very idea terrifies me. Thinking about being responsible for my two small humans causes enough anxiety about my fitness, but I can see why it might send others on a drug-like high. They say they have the respect of the people, but with every screw-up they make, they don't even earn their mother's respect. Massive egos, they want to be great leaders over powerful nations. They don't care about the people, the people are just tools to those ends. They are psychopaths sociopaths mostly. Unlimited control over a country's resources is a good incentive to be an autocrat. Imagine having palaces, yachts, and every whim and fancy you have. Yet if he had an entire army of women to pleasure him. Humans are inherently greedy. Put anyone in a position of absolute power and they'd act like any other autocrat. It's wired in our brains. Democracies recognize this that is why we put checks and balances to spread power to as many people as possible. Everyone is susceptible to being an autocrat if left unchecked. Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. George Orwell, or Aldous Huxley. Money power influence. There is an evolutionary basis for it since it is so prevalent and, historically, the dominant social model. Once they get in power they want to stay in power. They want to keep their jobs of course. Doesn't everyone? If they fear they might be voted out of power, they get a little panicky, they start grabbing for power in more overt ways. Things get tense. That's about when they start trying to arrest and imprison the competition, or worse. Or, at least try to disqualify the competition, if it's soft fascism hoping the competition will give up. Case in point, Putin's Russia over the past few years. Absolute power. Unimaginable riches. Whatever they want, no matter how disgusting, degraded, or repulsive. Power. I think it was Orwell in 1984, but I'm too lazy to look it up. For them, power is not a means to an end. Power itself is the end. Keep in mind that these are not enlightened minds in the slightest. This desire for power, at the cost of everyone else around them, is the most primitive form of human thinking. Greed, power, control these needs are only uncontrollable in the base human model. The don't expect to gain anything. They already have it sir. They intended to keep us distracted end of story. Have you seen Vladimir Putin's palace on the Black Sea? Control of all their citizens for a really 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 long time. Obey don't try to change anything. That's what they want. Power. Do you not understand the high that absolute power brings?